hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a, a quite affordable fountain pen. This is the, the kind of pen you would get from like a stationery store or you know perhaps even a good news agency or something like that. It is from Stabilo and it is the Stabilo Flow uh, fountain pen. This is the sporty, one of the sporty versions in the forest and black. I just chose this because I actually really, really like this color. There are a range of different colors that uh, are available for this pen. Uh, ones that have like, uh, so the sporty one has also, has, where this is green, has blue uh, or one that has pink. There's also the, uh, I think it's called the cosmetics range, which has a different color cap and body and sort of like pinks and greens and sort of more like metallic-y pastel kind of colors. And there's sort of more standard ones like the grey or the anthracite or the ones that are basically just completely black. Um, so this is a really affordable fountain pen. It's very basic. It comes in just a medium steel nib. Uh, you know, it's it's a blister pack pen. If you, you know, it it comes it comes with a little cartridge and that's about it. And uh, but yeah, I think it's actually worth talking about because I think it's actually in the turn in the in this realm of fountain pen. I think this is kind of one of the best. Uh, well, the best that I've tried at least. So I'm going to talk about the pen, talk about the parts and features, do a writing sample, and then some pros and cons. So starting at the top of the pen, you get the little Stabilo logo there. Now Stabilo is well known for things like highlighters uh, and that kind of stuff, and grey lead pencils, and they have a range of pens, and they have a range, actually they have a, a range of a number of fountain pens, including some that sort of are a little bit more than this, but this is their sort of basic range one. Uh, it's got the little logo, the, it sweeps down on a plastic clip that sits in the cap. It's all very plasticky, a uh, little sort of more matte finish of the body there. Uh, the cap so then goes on to seamlessly into the barrel of the pen, which tapers down sort of like it's got uh, this this forest green uh, plastic sort of body around the black plastic body, which has a, sh a shiny section and a matte section. with Stabilo Flow written there on the side. It is heavily branded. It is very obviously branded, uh, but this is not a an this is not an elegant, you know, like um, high end luxury fountain pen. This is a stationary store fountain pen. This is an everyday pen in every single way. It snaps to cap, and it's quite secure snap. And we'll come back to that in just a second. It's got this sort of triangular grip, which isn't as pronounced as Lamy, and it's quite, it's quite. Uh, it's kind of like, a, it's it's rounded with these like cutouts or it's it's it tapers, but it's got these sort of facets. Um, it's triangular, I think, primarily because obviously this pen, part of this pen's, you know, concept is to be designed for, designed for younger users, particularly like school children in countries where fountain pens are used in school. And those, that triangular grip does suggest how to hold the pen. Um, so it's a train, it's not a training pen, but it helps guide you so that uh, we always make sure the nib is in the right placement on the page. The pen posts quite deeply and quite securely. It is all plastic, so I wouldn't push too hard. Just as like I wouldn't, you know, decide to drive over this with a car or throw it from a five-story building. It's not designed to last. It's not designed to be super robust, but I actually think it feels pretty pretty good and um, that plastic cap mm, clip perhaps you know but aside from that it's quite nice you unscrew the barrel of the pen and that is where you put in the cartridge it is standard international and it comes with a cartridge it would fit some converters but your mileage may vary not every converter is going to be uh the perfect fit uh same as cartridges simply because like they're slightly different shapes shapes at the top and the shape inside there is probably going to be different as well so this is all plastic um and it's secure it clicks in there to to into the threads it's good you know like there is absolutely nothing like in this kind of pen in this price point in this design idea there's nothing really wrong with it. It may not be up to everyone's aesthetic. Uh, I actually don't mind it. I quite like these angled edges and all that kind of stuff. I'll get more back to that in a minute. But it, it's a so office supply store fountain pen, really. That's the way I kind of view this sort of pen. Um, you know, off the shelf, put a cartridge in it and away you go kind of pen. Doing a size comparison here alongside Alami Safari, you can actually see it's a pretty big pen. Those sort of sloped edges give it just a little bit more length uh, in the pen, which is quite nice. Uncapped, you see it's still a pretty good size. The nib is not dissimilar in design on the top to the Lamy. You can see the grip section is a little wider, uh, but in terms of length and body girth, they're not super, super dissimilar. 
the stabiloid just being a touch larger. Posted is where the Lamy edges it out. The Lamy is a, the, the Stablo posts deeper than the Lamy, and actually it's something I actually quite enjoy about this pen. The dimensions for the Stabilo uh, Flow Fountain Pen are, it's 150 millimeters when it is capped. It's 134, 137, sorry, when it is uncapped, which makes it a really nice length, good length, really nice. And then posted, it's 163, so it's a good size. It's not super heavy, it's about 17 grams, 11 in the body, six in the cap, so even when you post it, the balance isn't super off. Uh, and the grip section goes from about 10 to about 12 millimeters, uh, which makes it a very, very comfortable size in the hand. And that lightweight body, uh, you know, particularly when it's unposted, the size of it, very, very comfortable for writing sessions. Let's do a writing sample with this pen now. This is the Stabilo Flow. I'm probably saying all of this wrong. I've never actually really thought about it. Anyway, uh, this is a steel medium nib. Uh, it, it, the ink in this is just, oh, this is a generic um, blue. It might be pa uh, Pelican. But it's just a, a blue uh, ink cartridge. I can't actually remember. I wonder if it says anything on there. One second. No, it doesn't say anything on the cartridge. I would just leave it a generic blue. Uh, this is some writing. It writes really well. Like, it's not the smoothest nib, but I've used a lot worse. Um, fast writing, not designed to be legible, just designed to show the fact that this pen keeps up. The flow is like, ludicrously good uh it's yeah it's smooth reverse writing is actually kind of possible uh it is a stiff nib though do not flex this you will spring it you'll break it but for a pen that is designed in this sort of realm one thing you do need is you need it to be reliable if you're giving this pen to your school child to use at school it needs to write every time uh, and this does i've never had an issue with this i've used this pen for a little while um, uh, I got it probably about eight months ago and I've used it a couple of times since. I've never had an issue with it. I've really enjoyed the feel of this nib as it's not super smooth, but it's not, it's not feedbacky. It's just like you could, with a little bit of micro mesh or something, you could easily make this a really, really, really usable nib. Like it's wet, it's smooth, it does everything. So what are the pros and cons of this pen? Well, the only sort of cons I have are, firstly, that that clip is plastic and wouldn't take nothing to break that off. Um, so I probably wouldn't go putting this over like big, thick, you know, jacket pockets and things like that. The nib options are limited to medium, like that's it. <laughs> and that's f fine because for an everyday writing nib, that's probably quite okay. As I said, you're not buying this pen for like, you know, the great fountain pen experience, you're buying this pen to write, and it does. Uh, the other issue I have is sometimes I've found that like, as I post this pen, uh, these threads just get a little bit loose because they're quite they're quite wide threads. Um, and so like, you gotta really make sure that's clicked in and you can feel it click in because if it's slightly, even if it's slightly off, it very easily sort of comes undone by the cap. Um, it's quite a secure posting uh, capping on there. Um, but the pros for this are massive. Firstly, I want to say it is a standard international pen. That is great. It means that any generic brand of cartridges that you get, like once again, if this is a pen you're having in your office desk, or if this is you're giving this to your child to use at school, you can buy them a pack of Caveco or Pelican or Monteverde or whatever ink cartridges, and they will fit. Jaban will fit in here. Like standard international cartridges um which is really nice now it doesn't come with a converter but at this price point which i should say here uh this pen retails uh, i i i this is where i bought mine from in the it was from the a shop in the uk where it retails for eight pounds which in australian money is about 15 australian dollars which is 
almost just a, you know, a smidge more than a quarter the price of the Lamy Safari. Now, I'm not saying it is Lamy Safari quality, but I'm saying if you need a pen, if you need to give your child a pen to take to school all day, your child wants to write with a fountain pen, this is not a terrible option. Uh, at 15 Australian or eight pounds, you know, it's a it's a really reasonably priced pen, especially given these are the other you know couple of other major co uh, pros, how smooth and generous and reliable that nib is, huge pro, uh, and the other thing is is that there's a there's a range of colours and like you want to be able to have a personalised experience with your pen as does your child or the you know the person who's coming to the hobby that you're trying to you know convert. You've got options uh, for them, things that are a bit more, uh, this is like what I would consider like the medium-ish kind of range of it, you know, with the, the blue finish, a green finish, and a pink finish. You've got the more vibrant young editions with the cosmetic ones, and then of course, sort of more simple anthracite gray and a, a straight lighter gray, and then a black, uh, if you're looking for something much more understated. Um, like this doesn't look terribly different to a lot of the, the rollerball and ballpoint pens that you buy uh, at, you know, an office supply store. Uh, it just happens to be a fountain pen. So I think it's really great. I think for this price, I know I'm talking very highly about a, an $8 or $15, eight pound uh, fountain pen, but when it writes like this, and when you get some pens that are, well, let's be honest, 10 times the price that write like rubbish, this is actually a very interesting pen. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video about the Stablo Flow interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the not notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me in any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. Um, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there is a way you would like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.